Hello viewers, I'm Simeon Grace and you're watching Carrie's Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be taking us on how to cut a fish dress with gathered cape. It's going to be a black fabric and a white material for the gathered part. And the, the black fabric, which is the main dress, is going to be a tube dress. We're going to cut it as a tube dress. Then we attach our gathered fabric. And for this fabric, I'm going to be using three yards to form my gather and the front part is high while the back is low. We have the back length longer than the front length and that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial how to cut and for more videos click on the subscribe buttons. Now let's get to work. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is cutting out the main fabric and we're going to measure the length and minus for the full length is 56 so minus 4 from our measurement that will be 52 but I'm going to place my tape room and minus my 4 inches from the fabric then I'll continue with my measurement so the folding we're going to fold based on our desired measurements of course we know in our normal cutting we fold with the highest measurement which is the hip since it's a gown but in this case it's going to be fish so we fold to our desired measurements so for me in this tutorial i'll be folding 16 inches i'll be folding 16 inches then the full length is 56 so let's move to the fabric I have my 16 inches folded and I have the full length minus 4 inches the full length 56 but I have 58 that's with the sewing allowance now I'm going to continue my measurement we have 8.5 for the bust and I have 12 inches which is the under bust measurement and we have the shoulder measurement to be 14 and 14 divided by 2 we have 7 inches we have the bust measurement in this fabric now we're not going to add remember it's a stretchy fabric so I'm not going to add to the measurement so we have the bust to be 32 and 32 divided by 4 we have 8 inches I have the band measurement that the band measurement is taking just two inches after the under bust measurement so I have the band to be 26 and 26 divided by 2 we have 6.5 now we move to the waist the waist measurement is 28 28 divided by 4 we have 7 inches we move to the hip. The hip measurement is 34 and 34 divided by 4 we have 8.5 inches. Now we move to the knee length. The knee length is 33 inches, 33 inches, and since my hip measurement gives 8.5 from our calculation, 8.5, I'm going to subtract 1 inch and that will give us 7.5. All measurements in inches, so I have my 7.5 inches. Now, I'm going to slant in from here to the end of our fabric but let's bring out the shape starting from the bust so I have the bust to the band then the band to the waist the waist to the hip and the hip to the knee length that's the half length of the gown then 
From there, I'm going to slanting the shape to the edge of my folding. And to the hand. And before we cut our fabric, I'm going to increase the arm all measurement. I'm going to increase it by two inches. So this is the shape we have. Now a fabric is minus four. Starting from minus minus four, I continue my length. You can still you can decide to bring it down to five inches or six inches, depending on how low you want it to be. So I'm going to cut the fabric out now. And this is the front. So, I'm going to place this to cut out the back. The same thing, no extra addition to the folding. I'm going to cut out the same thing. So, I'm going to cut it out now, exactly what I have. Now we're going to move to the to cutting the round shoulder measurement. The shoulder circumference is 36 inches. So for this fabric, I'm going to measure out three yards because we're going to gather the fabric. So the front length is high while the back length is low. For the front length, I'll be using seven inches and the back length I'll be using 12 inches and I'm going to fold the fabric into two I'm going to double it it's going to be like this I have my three yards of fabric and I'm going to double it I'm going to double the fabric and I'll measure the front length 7 inches, the back length is 12 inches. So to get that, I'm going to fold the fabric into two. A fabric is folded into two and with this I can easily get which part belongs to the front and which part belongs to the back. So I'll use this for the front measurement and I'll use this for the back measurement. I'm going to notch the middle 
that's the middle so I know from from the middle to this to the other end is the front measurement so this is my front measurement and my front measurement is seven inches seven inches I'm going to add my sewing allowance so I'll make it eight inches I have my eight inches on this middle I'm going to measure the difference between the back length and the front length is four inches that's the front length is 8 and the back length is 12. So the, the difference is 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I'm going to add the 2 inches to my 8 inches and that will give us 10 inches. Ten inches. So it means I'm going to have my 8 inches measured from the front end. So mix with the 10 inches, that's the side measurement. And we have the remaining parts. This is the front. And we have the remaining parts. I'm still going to fold that as well into two. And like I said, the back measurement is 12 inches. So I'm going to measure my 12 inches plus my sewing allowance. That's 13 inches. And of course, it's still coming back to meet with the middle measurement, which is 10 inches. So I'm going to cut. Let's see the outcome. This is the outcome. So what we are going to do is gather the fabric and attach to our main dress. So we've come to the end of our cutting and I hope you enjoyed the class. So don't miss the sewing class. You can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at OAfricaTV. And you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Skyris Creations.